last time on MasterChef. Bring it on, cowboys. The home cooks saddled up to feed a horde of hungry cowboys. Hurry up, hurry up. You're killing it with these steaks. That's good. Katrina's blue team ah! galloped to victory while in the pressure test. Ah! He is agitated. Stephen and Christopher rode their lot. It's too close to call. You're both going up the balcony. Holy We're both safe. What a day. Tonight. You are going to be serving dinner in the Master Chef restaurant. The top ten team up to cook family style. What are we feeding Gordon Ramsay's children? Stress? Relationships will be put to the test. Chris, that's our dessert. Get him in. Get the chickens in. There's no way that we're going to get anything from the red team. This is ridiculous. All ending in the biggest shock of the season. This is one family. <laughs> you do not want to let down. Come on down. You know, this is a tough thing. To be top 10 is very important to me. My girlfriend really inspired me to take the plunge and leave everything behind, and here I am. But being here, I'm going to miss our seven-year anniversary. So it's tough for me, you know? Tonight, you 10 home cooks will be split into two teams of five. Each team's going to be responsible for making a delicious family dinner. An entree, two sides, and a dessert, all served family style in one of America's best restaurants. This one right here. That's right, you are gonna be serving dinner tonight in the Master Chef restaurant. Tonight's meal is gonna be very special. You will be creating treasured memories for a family that I have invited here tonight. This is one family that you do not want to let down. It could be Gordon Ramsay's family. It could be previous MasterChef contestants. But for all I know, it could be the Kardashians. Is it Prince William and Kate Middleton? Are you all ready to find out your teams? Yes. 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 Some of you haven't been team captains yet. And tonight, we are going to decide who those two team captains will be. The first team captain? will be captain of the blue team, Derek. Second team captain of the red team is Claudia. All right, Derek, Claudia, please come up here and put on your captain's aprons. Good job. Thank you. Chef. Thank you. This is going to sound cocky, but it's about time I'm team captain. I've been listening and watching over this entire competition. I know everyone's strengths. Right. Derek, you've got the first pick. First pick. Nick. Get your blue apron. Good. This is family style. I have an Italian family background, and so does Nick. Simple pick. Claudia. My first pick is somebody that has amazing flavor profiles, and I have seen their tenacious attitude. I pick Katrina. Katrina, wow. Katrina, please. Derek, I'm second pick. My next pick is Olivia. Yeah. I actually would prefer to be on Claudia's team because we don't butt heads. Derek and I definitely butt heads. My second pick is Heffel. Yeah. Heffel. Interesting. Next pick. All differences aside. My next pick is Chris. Wow. Hold it, third pick. There's no one that I know that understands vegetables more than Steven. Wow. Steven, come on up. Derek, you're picking for both teams now. This person is overlooked a lot. Tommy. Wow, Tommy. Gentlemen. Welcome to the red team, baby. <laughs> I haven't been overconfident, like perhaps Derek has, but the truth is, I am a methodical, strategic, and delegate a lot in my regular job as an event manager, so I think that we will have no problem getting this win. Each team will have just 90 minutes to prep and cook an entree, two sides, and an incredible dessert. In the pantry, you will find everything you could possibly imagine to make your family dinner. Remember what's at stake. The winning team will be safe from elimination, and the losing team will face another challenge. After which, at least one of you might be seeing your own families quicker than you had hoped. Your time starts now. Oh. Ah! 
Everybody take a book. I'm thinking, honestly, family dinners. I mean, what better than chicken? Yes. Guys, are, are, how are you I'm feeling about yeah. chicken? Yeah, roasted chicken. Perfect. So what are we thinking about sides? Uh, mashed potatoes or mashed potato potatoes, I think, are real mashed potatoes? genius, yeah. And what then you, you could do broccolini with Asiago cheese shavings on yeah, top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm not sure what you're thinking for a dessert. Strawberry shortcake? Oh, that sounds delicious. Uh, with whipped cream. Red right cheese! Right. I'm Italian rooted. You're Italian rooted. Let's yeah. go. We're going to go Italian. So we're gonna do a lamb rack. Hell yeah. I wanna do a caprese salad. And Nick, your baked ziti with that amazing grandmother's sauce. You gotta do it. Does that go well with the caprese? I think it does. I think yeah. it goes yeah. amazing. Absolutely. And then we're going with a chocolate mousse pie. You do a great crust, yeah. super simple. It's gonna be beautiful. Luigi! I got tons of garlic. Yes. Do it, guys. Let's go. One stunning family style entree followed by a delicious family style dessert. Let's go. Wow. Family style cooking. So excited. You learn to fall in love with food first and foremost at home at the dinner yeah. table. And then it's how you learn how to cook, right? Yeah. Really curious to see what dishes they put together. How are you doing there, Steven? Great. Let's just communicate, guys, OK? Yep, yep. I trust you all. Eye on the prize. You got it, pal. Yes, chef. Backing you up, Derek. Thanks, Tommy. We've seen great, great home cooks with great potential completely crumble under the pressure of being team captain. Yeah. Do you know how to trust? Yeah, you're going to help me trust. Perfect. I'll trust for you. 65 minutes to go. Speed up, guys. I need crusts rolled out. Can I have three minutes? I, I give five? you five. OK, awesome. Can you move a little faster, babe? Yep. Right, Claudia. Yes, Chef. Describe the menu, please. Yes, Chef. We're making a herb-roasted whole chicken today with a garlic mashed potato and sautéed broccolini with a strawberry shortcake for dessert. Cool. Yeah. Done. Now, uh, whole chickens averaging 22, 23 minutes per pound, three and a half pound birds. That's a minimum of an hour in the oven roasting. How are you going to cook them in time? We're going to get them right in the oven right, right away, Chef. I just want to make sure that your chicken, uh, for a very important family that's dear to my heart, yeah, chef. Uh, doesn't go out undercooked. I think we should split them. We're going to split the chickens right now. We're going to split them in half. Is We're that your decision or the captain's decision? It's going to be the captain's decision. Captain, do you think we should split the chickens in half, lay them flat like this? We're going to cook in half the time? I think that's sure. smart. Means, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We let's can still it. keep them juicy. Sure, let's okay, do it. Okay, captain's decision. Uh, let's do red it. team, get organized, yes, please. Sir. Okay. Understood, chef. Thank you. Of course. We got to get these in in the next five minutes, guys. All right. Derek, yes, yes. what are you making for dinner? Uh, so we're doing Italian family style. I'm playing to the strong suits that everyone has. I'm going with lamb because I nailed it in my white apron battle. Olivia is going to be doing the caprese salad. Nick's strong suit is Italian. So we're doing a baked ziti and a chocolate mousse pie. Simple. Good luck. Thank you. We are halfway there. Just under 45 minutes to go. Chris, how are those pies doing, dude? Going, going, going. Chris, I need that in the oven so fast. I know, I know. Right, blue team, how are we doing? Blue team, Derek's doing good. He seems in control, but the menu doesn't sound as cohesive as I thought it was. Really? What are you doing? They have a caprese salad, but then they also have a big ziti, and then they have a lamb rack. Why would you put two cheeses on the sides? I think in their mind, these are the dishes that they feel the most comfortable with, cooking and finessing from an Italian standpoint. Right, so it's two pieces of tomato per piece of cheese. Is anybody looking at it on a family table? No. I mean, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. No one stepped back and seen the big picture. Ooh, yummy. How are we doing? We need to get these in the oven. I've got even more disturbing news. The red team, the chickens are now being half, but they're still not in the oven. What are they waiting for? They, just they should have cooked half an hour ago. Can we get these chickens in? Can we at least get No, them? not yet. Why can't we get them in? Because they're not dry. Claudia, I've done this millions of times. So have I, babe. There's no way that those chickens are going to get cooked in time. We need to get the chickens in now. Red team, yes. you've got to get your chickens get in, in the oven. Get the chickens yes, in. Get them in. I'm putting the chicken in. No. How do you want to do it? Yes. How do you want to do it with the chicken? Let me nothing, see. Nothing. 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 You stay. Wow. There's no way that we're going to get anything from the red team. This is ridiculous, man. We are halfway there. Just under 45 minutes to go. We need to get the chickens in now. Red team, yes. you've got to get your chickens get in the oven. Get the chickens yes, in. Get them in. I'm putting the chicken in. These clucking chickens have to get in the oven right now. We're going to see raw meat. There's no way that those chickens are going to get cooked in time. I got it. I'll put it in. It doesn't take all of us to set an oven. You serve a bloody raw bird to anybody's family, you go home. Or they'll kick you out your own house. Done. All I know is Claudia need to pull this ship together. Because we will all go down. What if we feed in Gordon Ramsay's children? My goodness. Stress? 
Blue team. Yes, Jeff. Are we on it? Yes. Have you thought about this menu, Derek, collectively sat on the table? Yes. We've got two cheese and tomato sides. Yes. Baked city with cheese and a tomato mozzarella salad. I think that the marriage of the tomatoes is okay. the is the combining. But I get that, but I'm just trying to point out a fact to help you yes. not serve the same dish twice. I've got a very important family, Derek. Yes, I uh, And it means uh, they've, they've travelled, Derek, they've travelled thousands of miles to be here. Yes, yes, so yes. You can change and you can alternate. I'm just trying to get you... I understand. Successful. Good, let's go. Are the chickens in? Yes, Chef, they're in. Thank goodness for that. All of them. Okay. okay. Solution time. I think we should do a yes. strawberry and tomato and arugula salad. It basically, it's like bright and sweet. And then this is like heavy and cheap. Yeah, I like it. I know you. I know you get tomato and strawberry. Okay. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. We got to change the salad. Extra mozzarella. We got cheese in the baked ziti. I'm gonna have to trust Olivia that she can make it happen. Oh, this is gonna be good. Olivia, come take a quick look. It's gonna need a blind bake just a little bit more because it's so big. Oh, so it's what happened. What's wrong with it? No, nothing. It's just just not, needs a little bit more blind baking. That's all. We're good. Just under 20 minutes to go, guys. Come on. Speed up, please. Killing me. No, it's fine, I swear. If it's fine, then why are we opening it? Chris, you know what, man? I need you to make pie crust. Chris, you have one job. Pie crust. That is it. Pie crust. How is it? Fine, let me just deflate this and I'll throw it in No, the it's not. No, put it back in. Ah, I'm like, I just need a pie crust. Go, go, go. We're losing heat in that oven. No, give me a second. Please don't try micromanagement. It just makes it worse. It shut down. I need to taste those mashed potatoes. These need, more, these need more creamy. They're not creamy enough. Don't take them out, please. OK. I'm sorry. I need. I, they need to have just a bit more butter. Can you take care of it? Yes, while I, I can. Absolutely. This is looking so amazing. I wish you could see it. You would die. Five minutes to go. Come on. You want to see something beautiful? Oh, pretty girl. Here it is. Yeah. Hi. I have to say, the blue team's baked ziti looks fantastic. That looks awesome. On your left, careful. That's our dessert? Yeah. You know what looks terrible? Your chocolate mousse it's, pie. It's, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, oh the cream, the cream, the cream, the cream. Two minutes to go. Just put them on there with whipped cream. Captains, get your teams to victory. Let's take them internal temperature. Yeah. It's 169. Yeah. It's technically okay. done. The chickens are not out in the tray yet. Oh, my God. Even the chicken. It's coming. It's coming. The family are seated. We are less than 60 seconds to go for the ultimate family dinner. Hurry up. Let's go. Buzz it up. Buzz it up. My goodness me. Watch out. We need to watch out. Chris, watch out. Move. Out, 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 I'm out, moving. Out. I'm moving. Yeah, stop yelling. Get the out of the way. Yes, hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Last 30 seconds. I need your help here. What can I do? Hey, look out, look out. Let me let off this. Nick, help me organize this. Here, go, go. It's falling on me. Pour the gravy, guys. Pour the gravy. Get that gravy on. Now. Bring it to me now. Come on. Start wiping this plate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Give me a towel. Give me a towel. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Walk away from your plating station, please. Thank you, service. As a team, we went above and beyond a typical family meal. The lamb is cooked perfectly. The baked ziti is cooked perfectly. But I'm looking at the pie, and I hate it. And that's the last thing they're going to think about when they vote. This could sink our ship. We could go down on dessert. Red team, blue team, once the family have eaten, they will then decide on which dinner they preferred. The winning team will be safe, and the losing team will, of course, as always, face the dreaded pressure test. Thank you. Get out of here. I'm really hoping that the love that we put into this meal really shines through for this family, whoever the family is. Welcome. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for coming. Trust me. We are honored to have you all here. And they, out there, have no idea that you are the family that we have invited. <laughs> so they are in for a shock, let me tell you. Right now, out there are the 10 
best home cooks in all of America. And luckily for you, they are your loved ones. Derek's mom, Stacy. You had no clue that Derek was even auditioning for MasterChef. When did you last see Derek? About a year ago. And the last time I did see him, he, he surprised me. So this is going to be a real twist. Cha-cha. Gorgeous princess. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much are you missing, Mum? Can I go above 10? Of course you can. Like 100. 100. <laughs> wow. Stephen's son, Stephen Jr. Hi. Did you know that Dad was that much of a cook? No. I mean, his, his food was good, but I liked hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. He's a cool dad. And it's been hard for me not to have him around. Oh. And does he shout at you a lot, the way he shouts at me? He, <laughs> he has those short spasms of energy, yes. Uh-oh. Oh. Here we go. Your dinner tonight has been prepared by two teams of five. You guys are each going to receive an entree and a dessert from each of the teams. After that, without knowing who cooked what or what team your loved one was on, you're going to judge on which meal overall that you preferred. Painful. Uh, Blue Team have done an amazing uh, roast uh, rack of lamb served with some olive tomatoes and a baked ziti. And on the side is a strawberry rocket salad finished with a chocolate mousse pie. Wow. And the red team? Yeah, the red team has done a roasted chicken rustic garlic mashed potato and then we also have some broccolini with asiago cheese and then we also have strawberry shortcake oh boy this is gonna be tough i know bon appetit please enjoy oh That lamb had a perfect crust on it. Yeah, it looked good. The cheese was perfectly crisp on the ziti. Boy, that lamb turned out great. Mm -hmm. So tender. I love lamb. I think that the lamb is lacking like a lot of um, seasoning. Seasoning, yeah. yeah. I thought so too. Yeah. Under seasoned. Although the pasta from the blue table is very good. Yeah. The salad dressing is amazing. The blue team, I think their ziti is misplaced. I do too. I think That's what I'm, I'm having trouble with. Although I like it. I just don't not, think that the ziti. Yeah. It's not right with the the whole, the whole thing. Okay, I'm try time this. for the chicken. Here we go. <laughs> that was an awesome job, Stephen. Best idea today was to split those chickens down the middle and get them opened up. Like talking about brother? Yes. So good. So good. Stephen Jr. So far, what's been your favorite? Red. Red. Team. Alex. Yeah. Katrina's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Where are you leaning entree-wise? Oh, boy, it's it's tough. I can put everything together into, like, a perfect bite with mm -hmm. the red plate. I can't necessarily do that with the blue plate, but I will say that I love everything that's on the blue plate. So I, I guess I'm leaning towards the blue. Interesting. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are we ready to tuck into those delicious desserts from the red team and the blue team? Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, my God. I know, right? The only thing I'm concerned about and Chris, you know it, is 90 minutes on getting that crust. Almost 90 minutes. Barbara, Nick's mom, where are you leaning? Uh, you know, I, I am leaning towards the red plate. I think the pound cake is really very good. It's a nice balance. If the problem with me with the blue plate is I think the crust is not quite right. My son probably made it and he's gonna kill me, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Jenny, Christopher's girlfriend. I actually preferred the blue plate. I felt like the red plate was a little heavy, a little denser than I would like, and the blue plate was lighter. And I actually like the bitterness of the dark chocolate. <laughs> Thank you all for that incredible feedback. We would like to invite you to make your vote. If you like the red team's food best, you'll keep the red card in the checkbook. If you like the blue team's dinner the best, you'll leave the blue team's card I love the suspense. Let's go see who it is. Please welcome the best 10 home cooks in all of America. <laughs> My mom gave up a lot to raise me, and she didn't get to fulfill her dreams. She taught me that I could. And so I'm here to make a dream come true. 
and win MasterChef. <laughs> you did you no one said did you know? I'm so so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm not crying. Her tears came onto my face. <laughs> Come on, I'm crying too. Stephen, someone very special here to see you. I love you so much. You look so good, baby. <laughs> I miss you so much. For a long time, it was just me and my mom. Literally exactly how it is with me and my daughter right now. She is someone that has taught me everything that I know about food. This is one of the most important families. This is the top tens family. I can't believe I just cooked for my mom. Red team, blue team, well done. <laughs> you okay, bud? I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> You sure? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow we're going to cook for your family, OK? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Oh, God. What's the oh, matter? Damn. Come on. You know, I'm, I'm sensitive, a sensitive, sensitive man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Big deep breath. You can do it. Come on. All right. Excellent. Now, you really need to understand tonight that your loved ones had no idea who cooked what. And all of their votes have been cast. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. We're going to start with Claudia's mum, Julia. <laughs> Will you reveal which dinner you preferred? Was it from the red team or the blue team? <laughs> red team. Claudia, relieved? Oh, yes, yeah, Chef. <laughs> now, young lady, no pressure. Please reveal red or blue team. <laughs> Up top, baby, up top, up top, up top. Yeah! Roger, open your checkbook and reveal which dinner you preferred. Oh, I'm in, Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Jenny, what's in your checkbook? Roots. Heidi. Chocolate garlic. Chocolate garlic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh my goodness. Insane. It is three to the red, three to the blue team. Alex. <laughs> Come on, Alex. I love you, buddy. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alex, that's the first vote that's gone against their family loved one. Stephen Jr., reveal which dinner you prefer this evening. You're one lucky boy. <laughs> 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 yeah. We are even again. Barbara. Come on, Ma. Oh, it was chicken, and right when I saw you, I was like, damn it. <laughs> it is now five votes to the red team and four to the blue team. Stacy, reveal red or blue. It is now five. Votes to the red team and four to the blue team. Stacy, if you've decided blue, then you've a tie. If it's red, it's over. Reveal, yeah. red or blue? Red team! Mom, thank you for coming to Master Chef. I'm so glad you're here. I'm just so bummed you picked the wrong dish. Blue team, unfortunately, tomorrow night, you will face another challenge where at the end of it, at least one of you, sadly, will leave the competition. Uh.
But tonight, please, all of you, enjoy the rest of the night together. If you go further in this competition, clearly it's going to be some time before you see each other again. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Good night. Thank you guys oh, so thank much. You. Thank, thank you, you so chef. much. Oh, oh wow. my God, that was tough. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Chef Oh, yes. Oh, I miss you. It's so well, different. Your hair's so long. How'd your theater go? Oh, really good. It was the Did best you? play I've ever done. Really? It's awesome. So we get to hang out? Tonight? We do? Oh, All so night. Nice. No. Welcome, guys. Got the black apron on, and it's really tough going into this pressure test because I felt like I did so well as a captain. I don't know where this is going. I'm just not ready to go home. Now, there are five of you standing in front of us, but not all of you are going to have to face tonight's dreaded pressure test. Only four of you are. And that person who we want to save is your team captain, Derek. You were let down in the dessert department, but the lamb dish works. It looks stunning. Thank you. So take your apron off, head up to the balcony. Thank you. I am so glad I'm safe from this one because my parting words to my mom is, I'll see you when I'm Master Chef winner. So if I went home in this pressure test, my mom would never forgive herself. This dish that you are about to face takes the humble potato and turns it into something elegant, something served at the finest restaurants. Gnocchi. Potatoey pillows of perfection. Yeah, buddy. Being Italian, some people call me Nicky Gnocchi. I mean, I've been rolling gnocchi out with my grandmother since I could see over the counter. I can make gnocchi in my sleep, baby. Bring it on. Let's go. All of you, it's time to head to your stations. It's so important for me to survive this pressure test. Winning Master Chef would allow me to better provide for my girlfriend. I want to give her the dream wedding that she deserves. On your stations, you'll find everything you need to make us this dish. You have one baked potato, eggs, butter, flour, salt, pepper, and sage. You will each have 25 minutes. <laughs> That's right, just 25 minutes to make us a delicious gnocchi dish finished in a sage brown butter sauce. Your 25 minutes start now. Come on, guys. Now, gnocchi. So this is all about the feel and the texture. The beautiful part about a perfect gnocchi dish is simplicity, right? But mm -hmm. so many things could go wrong. Where do you think these home cooks will struggle? Uh, lumpy potatoes to begin with, so therefore they haven't uh, riced them properly. Um, too much flour, so it just tastes gummy. That's too what I'm afraid of. Yeah, it can get too dense. So the less you roll it, the more fluffy it's going to get. Liv, that looks great. Don't work it too much, though. Just going up to 10 minutes gone. Just over 15 minutes to go. Right, Nick, how are you feeling? I feel great. Gnocchi and I go way back. What's going to separate your gnocchi from everybody else? Got to keep it light. Hello. Confident you can get through this one and hit the top nine? Yes, yeah, Chef, absolutely. Top nine's calling my name. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. All right. All right, Christopher, you got your first batch into your boiling water a little bit longer than a typical blanch on the gnocchi. We got to trust the gnocchi and let it float, and I was just waiting for it to float. OK. Make sure those gnocchi have a nice, even golden brown color on every side. Remember, it's all about the seasoning. Copy that, Chef. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. Hi, Chef. Hi, Olivia. Hey, what's going on? I've only made gnocchi one time before. The only thing I would say is that, remember, you have your brown butter, which mm -hmm. is going to be the little finishing drip. Mm -hmm. So something like this, look at them. They're starting to look a little greasy. So take those, yeah, dab yeah. them on a paper towel, then go right. back and gently place them somewhere. OK, thank Just you. Just under eight minutes to go. 
a lot of stuff going on out there. Huh? I'm totally concerned about Christopher. Yeah, I have to say, Christopher blanched his gnocchi for about two, two and a half minutes, which is not a blanch. Right. It's nearly like a boil. A boil. Yeah. I'm concerned about Nick only because he still has six minutes to go and he's plated his dish. I think he's that confident, Christina. Yeah, buddy. I don't like the texture of these. They don't look the way that I want. My gnocchi is exploding and they look like snot. Oh, Tom. Two minutes to go. I've got extra gnocchi dough. So I immediately chop, 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 chop and throw them in that box. Look at breaking news right now. Tommy is redoing it all. He's making a new batch of gnocchi. Wow. With just some minutes to go. Is that even possible? Hurry, Tommy. I know. The clock is ticking down. Coming up to 90 seconds. Oh, boy. I'm starting to sweat like James Brown. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be tight. If this second batch fails, I'm just going to be dead in the kitchen. Look at breaking news right now. Tommy is redoing it all. He's making a new batch of gnocchi. Wow. With just minutes to go. Is that even possible? Hurry, Tommy. I know. Coming up to 90 seconds. Flowing, Tommy. It's flowing. It's done. Get it out of there. Let's go. Come on, Tommy. You've got the plate. Oh, my gosh. Tommy oh, just, just poured all the ground butter sauce That's... on the plate. You got too much butter. They need to be down on the front bench. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, slowly, slowly, 5, slowly, slowly, 4, slowly, 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 slowly. 3, 2, 1, and stop. Hands in the air, guys. Right, it's time to taste the gnocchi and to see how you did. Uh, right, Nick, uh, describe your dish. I made a uh, classic potato gnocchi in a sage brown butter sauce with fried sage leaf. And ratio of potato to flour is what, please? In the past, learning from my grandmother who taught me how to make gnocchi, I go by aisle and really feel. Um, the plate smells incredible. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Crispy, light, seasoned beautifully. I want to dive back in there for more. Thank you. That's exactly the way to make gnocchi. Absolutely. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Incredible. Thank you. I mean, so light, so pillowy. Ratio of flour and egg to potato, spot on. I wish they were a little bit bigger. Yeah. What do you think your mom would have thought of this gnocchi? My mom has never sugar-coated anything. <laughs> she taught me to be my own hardest critic, because the minute you let up, someone's going to pass you up and take over. So you always got to be pushing to be great. Well, Nick, keep pushing. I will. It's clearly making a difference as you rise in this competition. Thank you. Hi, Olivia. I think you were the underdog here. You've only made it one time before. Yeah. But visually, I think yours is the most beautiful out of the floor. Thank you. They're, they're delicious. Great flavor. Yeah. Technique-wise, I think next to Nick's, pretty much neck and neck, I think the only thing is yours are a little larger. Not a lot that I would that I would change to the dish. I think it's pretty beautiful. You Thank should be proud. You. Good job. Thank you. Just watching the way you work, it's almost like the more pressure we put you under, the better you get. Thank you. They look absolutely beautiful. I like them that size because you get more crisp on them. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, delicious. Nick's was there. Yours has gone beyond that. Touch more butter. It's not going to kill you. <laughs> it's going to elevate a dish to on the verge of perfection. Uh, great job. Well Thank, done. You. Thank you. Christopher. So first of all, I'm just disappointed in the presentation. From a brown butter sauce standpoint, typically you'll find the sauce in the outer edges of the plate so that when you're ready to dig into it, you pull it over rather than having it sit in that bed of brown butter sauce. Have a chef. Take a plate. Your dumplings are definitely more on the under-seasoned side. Okay. The potato dumpling filling tastes a little dry. Okay. At least one person is going home. Um, it's probably going to be between you and Tommy. Okay. Christopher, now, have you got a little uh, ant infestation? <laughs> what is all that stuff? Yeah, it's just a little bit of cracked black pepper. I right. thought it would just be, you know, nice presentation, and if you want a little bit of bite. Rule number one, that chefs need to season things smartly and okay. not allow the customer to season it. That's the whole idea. Okay. 
Well, anyway, the size. So, uh, Christopher, rolling your eyes to the balcony while Gordon's tasting your dish, just to be clear, when we say we see everything, we mean it. If you're going to be that disrespectful, why are you here? I can hold that back door open for you if you want. We don't even have to taste Tommy's dish. Size. So, Christopher, rolling your eyes to the balcony while Gordon's tasting your dish, when we say we see everything, we mean it. If Sorry, you're going to be that disrespectful, why are you here? I can hold that back door open for you if you want. We don't even have to taste Tommy's dish. Don't be disrespectful. Christopher does not get it. He has been chewed out multiple times by Christina, and here he is again. Dude, look who's standing in front of you. Now, you've got a great color on there, a nice sear, but the big issue is it needs more seasoning. Okay. Season the dish, not the plate. It was interesting because I was watching you like a hawk. You didn't taste the mixture before you blanched it. And if you don't taste what you're about to start poaching, sauteing, how on earth are you expecting the end result to come out as a MasterChef quality dish? What a shame. I'm really angry at myself that I didn't perform better, and I wish things went differently. Right, Tommy, we were less than two and a half minutes to go, and it looked like you started again. Yes. And now you've served them in a swimming pool of butter. Why so much butter on there? Well, I guess it's my Jackson Pollock and me of not being able to hold back. Bollocks. I have to stop this. Yeah, Jackson bollocks. <laughs> well, here's a weird thing. I mean, it looks like they've drowned, but um, they actually taste decent. The nut brown butter's there, the flavor's there. I don't get it with you, because you're just, you know, you've got the heart, but then you're clumsy. Yes. The deal is, is if you saw that, you see how mushy this is. Yes. It has nothing to do with the amount of sauce that you've put on the plate. It's simply the actual dough. I mean, it's, they're all sticking together. Yes. I made a mistake with my first batch. I tried to save myself from that. Here's the, the issue I had. Wow. Christopher has the color. Presentation was obviously much, much nicer. But your flavor is on the money. It's almost as if I could mix the two of you and I'd have a solid dish. Yes. Every muscle on my body is clutching. Every pore on my face is twitching. I hate to think it, but there's a real possibility that I could be going home today. This elimination challenge, I think, really divided the kitchen into two teams. One pair gave us, like, a demonstration on how to perfect gnocchi. The other pair struggled under pressure. Olivia and Nick, please step forward. The two of you put out great plates. You are both safe from elimination. Please head up to the balcony. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. I expect to be number one. So making top nine is like, thank you, one step closer. Christopher, tonight, let's be honest, that wasn't one of your strongest performances. You know that. It may have looked like you seared them properly, but the actual flavor was missing. Tommy, rule number one, when poaching gnocchi, you never put a lid on it. Then, with three and a half minutes to go, you attempted to make the dish again. Then you destroyed it with seconds to go by flooding them. Tommy. Say goodbye to Christopher. Oh, God. And head up to the balcony. Good luck, Lexi. Be good, though. Christopher, after the top ten in MasterChef, we're looking for intuitiveness. Tasting a mix is important by not tasting it showed us that you're just still not ready 
to become America's next master. I still strongly believe that you're walking through those doors a much, much, much better cook than you came in. Please, come and say goodbye. Truly a pleasure. Thank you, Thank, Thank you for the guidance. Welcome. Thank you, Graham. Thank you. See you. Please, place your apron on your bench. Thank you. Uh, you know, after the tasting, I'm feeling just a little disappointed. And I would have liked to move further, but I'm very proud of myself for making it as far as I did. So I came in here aspiring to one day become a restaurant tour. You've got a great sense of humor, and you light up the room. Just, they said it's something, right? <laughs> My culinary knowledge has definitely grown. There was one standout apple pie, Christopher. I have newfound appreciation for cooking. There's some highs and lows. No, no, no. <laughs> it's my turn to talk. You wanted us to taste this? Right behind. Excuse me. Right behind. Move. Thank you, Chris. You're our rock star. I never really believe myself. <laughs> but I'm leaving here as a, uh, as a pretty good home cook. Top 10. Next week, I'm going to show you how it's done. Damn. I'm not the only thing flaming in this kitchen tonight. The competition heats up so... as the final nine face a red hot challenge. Ah! You must be careful playing with fire. Who will plate the hottest dishes of their lives? Really delicious. Boom. You just keep getting better and better. And who will go down in flames? That has just put you to the back. One potato, two potato.